The revolutions of 1917 and the Russian Civil War. The revolution of 1905 finished with their Tsar's conditions. But nine years later, Russia joined the First World War, the Great War, and situation changed drastically. Food supplies were scarce, and soldiers and people were starving. At the same time, the German army was defeating the Russian armies, battle after battle. Soldiers were killed by thousands. People protested and they were severely repressed. A demonstration on 8th March 1917 led to a revolution. The slogan was Peace, Bread and Land. Workers went to a general strike and soldiers mutinied. So a new government was formed. It was a moderate socialist government, led by Alexander Kerensky, aimed to establish a liberal political system. The Tsar, Nicholas II, did not agree with a liberal system, so he abdicated. But the new government faced different problems. One of them were the Soviets. The Soviet disassociation of workers had their own paramilitary groups and these were led by Vladimir Ilyich Yulanov, by Lenin. Lenin wanted a more radical political change than Kerensky. Lenin returned to Russia from his 10 years exile in Zurich and proposed a new political program. It was called the April Thesis. This program was based on different measures. Withdrawal from the war, redistribution of land among peasants, control of factories by workers' committees, autonomy for the national minorities, and Soviet's government. Kerensky's provisional government reacted and accused Lenin of organizing a riot that happened in July. Lenin fled from Russia, although he was not the origin of this riot. Actually, this insurrection was originated in the bad living conditions that still existed in Russia and the defeats of the Russian army in the World War I. Anyway, Lenin went back to exile and fled from Russia. Three months later, Lenin went back to St. Petersburg, now named Petrograd. There, he joined the Soviet of Petrograd and claimed all the power to the Soviets. It was the beginning of the October Revolution. The Bolsheviks, who controlled the Soviets, took over the city and formed a new government. Kerensky went to exile. The new government took very important measures. Russia withdrew from World War I after signing the Treaty of Brest-Litovsk. Properties from the nobility were confiscated and its land distributed to the peasants. Factories were given to assemblies of workers to control, and the right of sovereignty was given to the different nationalities that existed in Russia. The Bolshevik government faced a huge opposition, Tsarists and liberals. The Tsarists, including lot owners, military commanders and the Orthodox Church, and the liberals, created an army to fight against the Bolshevik revolution. It was called the White Army, that faced the government's one, the Red Army. A civil war started and lasted from 1918 to 1921, when finally the Red Army won the war. After the civil war, a communist dictatorship was established. The Bolshevik party, now named the Communist Party, was the only legal one, the only one who held the power. All other political parties were completely banned. This communist dictatorship, this communist regime, will be the origin of the future conflicts in the world. It's the beginning of a new era, at the beginning of new problems, and the beginning of our current world.